you a baby. So by you being a baby, it's hard for you to know how to ask me questions. It's hard for a person to interview a person like me in the first place. Just like when Donahue tried to interview Farrakhan, he couldn't interview Farrakhan because Farrakhan know what he's talking about. He's talking about what he's talking about. But Farrakhan is in between. Farrakhan is in. He he served Allah, but he said God. But he he's Muslims. If to me, if Farrakhan had been a Christian preacher, look how many followers he would have. But he teaches Islamic, so ain't too many black. Believe in Islamic to go over there and believe in more blacks believe in Christianity than they do in Islamic. But here you is, you got two gods. You got God and you got Allah. These people that believe in Allah kill themselves for Allah. So Allah is a God and God's a God. And here these two people they are fighting one another. The two gods. Did God tell his people to kill a Palestinian? Did he tell them Jews to kill them Palestinian and kill their babies? That's man. Doing what did Allah tell the Palestinians to go over here and blow up these babies and things? No, that's man put that with that. That's man hating one another. That's the Jews and the Palestinians hating one another. That's the white boy hating us. We don't hate nobody. We're the only race of people just hating one another. What culture hating one another? The Hebrews didn't fight one another. The Egyptians didn't hardly fight one another, so why is it that we have to be so ignorant in this modern day time that we steady fighting one another? And we don't have no leaders no more, or no more Jesse Jackson voices, or Al Shark's voice within the young, or Farrakhan's voice within the young. All we got in the young, within the young is, fuck your mama, fuck that bitch ass nigga, fuck that hoe ass nigga. Two pop, yeah, nigga, I fucked your bitch, all that old kind of shit. We just got throwing rocks at one another, making one another mad at one another. Why do we do that? What, what's in our mind to make us do that? But here we are, Charleston, Charleston White taught me something. Like he said, I taught him something. He taught me something because I didn't know nothing about the hip hop 50 years old down. Neither did I know anything about that nigga. Where that come from? Nigga. But it's a, it's a culture of young black males in America call themselves N-I-G-G-A. I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. I ain't no nigga because you can't be a nigga. So you claim nigga. You got Negro Afro-American. You got nigga. What, that's the last. And you got hip-hop. Where the Negro wouldn't get that white boy's education and do what that white boy said do. But now look at us now. And where's the young voice? All our young kids get a chance to, man, shoot that, get, shoot that nigga. Man, go kill that nigga. Man, fuck that nigga. Go get a body. Every day you go get a body. Where that come from? What's in that? That's ignorant. So we ignorant, point blank. Our kids got stressed. They hear mama and daddy's arguing. Ain't nobody teaching our kids nothing. When our kids go to school, how a teacher going to teach him something his mama and daddy can't teach him nothing. And when he comes to school, that's where he act out at. They got a stage like their parents got a stage. The kids got a stage. Where did the kids stage at? In school? They ain't going to school to get no lessons, especially the little black kids. That's true. That's true. I think I think the answer to your question is the music. The music is definitely what what drives like the whole let's make each other mad, let's disrespect each other the hardest. That's what it turned into. Uh, let's see who can disrespect each other the hardest. Who can... Are you aware of the whole smoking people thing that the kids do now to where, okay, let's say you got a friend named Brandon, right? And they kill Brandon. They'll say, now we smoking Brandon. We smoking Brandon. This is it's kind of a way to disrespect them, saying like he's dead. We smoking him in our weed. One thing I wanted to ask you about, kind of on the going back to the whole Christianity and Bible thing, did you did you see that Putin? He opened like some sort of like, I guess it's like a tomb, and they supposedly had like some scrolls that are missing parts of the Bible. Yes, 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 
is anybody with common sense know the people in the Bible is black. Anybody, regardless to what the English have wrote, the English have wrote the book to where the English look like that they are all of this. This what we was in the past and what our ancestors was in the past. We'll never know now what we're dealing with now. We're dealing with the present and the future. What about us now? What about the black race in America? The black race in Nigeria is all right because they're Nigerians. The black race in Kenya is all right because they're Kenyatta. The black race in America is not all right. Why? Because they don't know who they are. Right. If Which you is... don't know who you are and you steady following the Englishman, you steady following the Englishman in his law. Because you wind up in this country. How you wind up in this country is how you wind up in this country. But now realize that you are not that English white boy. His law is for him and his people. His law ain't for you. This is 1700, 1400 law. His forefather wrote. Now it's a new people in this place. They come over here and they say, why is the black so far behind? Why is the black say got nothing? Immigrants and refugees are coming over here. Immigrants and refugees is coming over here. Where are the immigrants and the refugees going? They go to the ghetto. They put them in the ghetto. What we call I, where we live. They don't put them right next door to them. So now what do we have now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. And we're steady arguing with one another. And all our elite blacks, all our elite blacks, they white. They white and they can't they don't wanna help their own people. Cultures help cultures. Mexicans help Mexicans. Why is it that the rich Negro won't help the poor black? Why do the poor have to suffer so he ain't got no education, so how he gonna learn to eat? He got to steal, he got to rob, he got to steal loaf, he got to eat just like everybody else got to eat. He don't know how to eat. So that's the reason why they create these jails to put our peoples in jail. Our peoples is going to jail in school. Our kids going to jail in school now. You can't even go to school. And the parents is going to get charged for what our kids do in school. That's two you're knocking. You're knocking the parent and you're knocking the kid. So the system that the European got is for him. Now we got to break away from the European and start our own system. How do you do it? How do you do it? Where is the, the black educated one instead of talking about man, Democrats, this, man, Republicans, this, and let's go join the Democrat, let's go vote, let's go vote for Biden. Now you start your own party. Start your own party. Do you see that they system have messed you up? You can't even whoop your kids. You can't even whoop your kids. He told you you can't whoop your kids. You can't chastise your children no more. The teachers at school can't chastise your children. Now look at your children. They sh they sh them. Motherfucking police are gonna knock on the door or uh, open the door, open the door, and the kid come to the door and they just shoot him six times because they think he's somebody and he's scared. The police is scared. America's fucked up. Point blank. What do you make of what do you make of there being books missing out of the Bible? You're trying to hide the truth when where the black man ain't even searching for the truth. He don't care. Just like the United Nations said, look how you have done the black race up under humane. Upon the humane, you done changed the black man's name, fool. Ain't that black man's name he run around claiming that's your name. You done gave it to him. You the slave master. United States have been invaded. They've been invaded. Everybody's over here. Everybody's over here. The white boy can't really help himself. Let's not help us. And here we are instead of trying to follow the white boy and trying to find the Bible. The Bible ain't set us free. Jesus, I was born in sin. I was born in the United States of America. I was born in sin. I was born in hate. I was born in a man hate me. I was born in hate. I was born around filth. I wasn't born in a country where mama do this, daddy do this, and everybody do this. That white boy sold all of us. We fucked everything in our family. Big old black man, dingo nigga. America... 
America Square, man, we don't want black motherfuckers, nothing you show long. You know, shit, leave us alone. Leave us alone, let's see if we can eat. How did you get all this land? It wasn't yours. It's the Indian. So you, you think we should have got what they what they promised the, the slaves originally, the 40 acres and a mule? Me, they know. They know. How can you be equal and you ain't got nothing? How can you be equal and you ain't got nothing? And you lead a slave.